Unraveling, Prickly Demeanor, A Guide to Understanding This Unique Phrase. Hello, and welcome to today's English language learning video. In this session, we're going to explore the phrase, prickly demeanor. This is a fascinating phrase that can add color and depth to your English conversations. Let's dive in and understand what it means and how you can use it effectively. First, let's break down the phrase into two parts, prickly and demeanor. The word prickly is an adjective often used to describe something physically sharp or spiky, like a cactus. However, when used to describe a person, it takes on a metaphorical meaning, indicating that someone may be easily irritated or tough to approach. Demeanor, on the other hand, refers to the way a person behaves or presents themselves. It's about the outward personality and attitude that someone shows to the world. So, when we say someone has a prickly demeanor, we are describing a person who seems unfriendly, easily annoyed, or difficult to interact with. This phrase paints a vivid picture of someone who, like a cactus, might prick you if you get too close. It's always easier to understand a phrase when you see it in context. Let's look at some examples. One, I tried to start a conversation with my new coworker, but he has such a prickly demeanor that I found it hard to keep the conversation going. Two, my neighbor's prickly demeanor makes people hesitant to ask her for a favor, even though she's actually quite helpful. In these examples, you can see how the phrase is used to describe someone's approachable or unapproachable nature in social situations. Understanding when to use this phrase is key. It's perfect for situations where you want to describe someone's unapproachable or somewhat hostile attitude without being overly harsh. Remember, it's a descriptive phrase and should be used in a context where you're explaining or discussing someone's personality traits. And that's all about the phrase, prickly demeanor. I hope this video helps you understand and use this phrase confidently in your English conversations. Remember, learning a language is all about understanding the nuances of phrases like these. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.